What is this? I'm not going to support that group of people in any context. Absolutely not. No. It's not even a question. These people would be the ones doing the genociding if they had the power. NA education, baby. They would be doing it. Their laws currently enable them to do it. If you want to consider a genocide... Their laws don't enable them to do it. Their laws... He's talking about Hamas. Their laws do not enable them to do it. What enables them to do violence against Israel is Israel's violence against them. That's what enables them to do it. As a systematic killing of a group of people, they have genocide built into Sharia law right now. Mmm, yes. Yes. Um, Zach, Asman, can you tell me the difference between Shia and Wahhabist? L please. Please. This fucking scumbag, okay, this bottom feeder, stay in your own motherfucking lane, get into LFR, queue up, and shut the fuck up. I guess it's fine if Israel does a genocide to 2.3 million people in Gaza and 5 million in the West Bank and then to m many more millions in Lebanon because if, ha if Hamas could, they would. Well, they can't, so what the fuck are you talking about? So no, I'm not going to cry a fucking river when people who have genocide that's baked into their laws are getting genocided. I don't give a fuck. Right, you like genocide. You like genocide so long as it's brown people. Got it. Got it. Thank you. Thank you, Asman. Uh, hey, Twitch. You got, uh, a gold star streamer over here talking about, I like genocide so long as it's the people I don't like. Where's the motherfucking ban? Where's the consequence, huh? Uh, TOS? Mod check? They're a fucking wrench in chat? And mind you, I don't want Asmongold to get banned. I want Asmongold to keep his fucking mouth shut. There is a thing that you can do. This one simple trick to get, you know, cringe lefties to not drop your name. It's shut the fuck up. Keep it to your goddamn self. The only reason I would ever look at this fucking scumbag's videos that I would click on a clip of him is because he talks about shit like this that he has no place talking about. Just because you like living in squalor doesn't mean that Palestinians should be forced to live in squalor. Motherfucker gets upset whenever there's a blue hair SJW video game character. But when someone's like, hey, I don't think, you know, people who are being starved to death get bombed. I don't think that's a good thing. Then he gets all uppity. The banality of evil, dude. Straight up. Straight up. Just a fucking douchebag. He makes content for 4chan? Yeah, I saw the we're in danger thing the other day. Stick to complaining about anime titties being too small, you stupid smelly neckbeard. Yeah, man. Complain about the most recent season of, uh, I don't know, fucking Jujutsu Kaisen not having enough fan service or some shit. Oh, ironically, I would rather him do some Grums shit on Twitter than talk about fucking Palestine. Piece of shit. If, if like the fucking, if Twitch existed during the Holocaust in, in uh, like 1933, he'd be like, listen, um, eventually, whenever you're talking about, you know, transing the kids in the Weimar Republic... Eventually, this is going to happen, okay? They've got genocide written into their, uh, their Jewish law. So I'm not going to shed my tears whenever I see them get bombed. They're invading. They're stopping the Lebens from... Like, this is white supremacy, by the way. This is straight up white supremacy is racism... It's xenophobia, it's American exceptionalism, and it's the perfect encapsulation of the American mind that you think, oh, well, you are lucky enough to have a good spawn point. You've been lucky enough to be like one of the wealthiest people on this fucking website. So why not do a little bit of white supremacy? Why not? Whenever you're wiping your teeth blood on the wall, it's because you don't brush your shit. Whenever a Palestinian kid's wiping their teeth blood on the wall, it's because a fucking bomb dropped on his head. He's just mad he got called out early on for uh, not caring about this whole genocide, so he is doubling down. I think he is on Israel's side uh, out of pettiness and nothing else. You are probably correct. 
It is just being a contrarianism. It also is white supremacy. The only way you can arrive at the doing contrarian genocide approval is through white supremacy. That you think, oh, well, I'm comfortably in my attic. I got plenty of money. Even if I lost my platform, I got money to live the rest of my fucking life. And I'm a white dude, so it's not like these things affect me. It's not like the millions of dollars he's made over his career and the taxes that he pays at a, you know, real uh, taxation rate less than the average fucking working class person. It's not like his taxes go to, you know, doing this. It's not like you're directly responsible. Asman would definitely not have the same things uh, to say about Ukrainians. Probably not. But I wonder why he wasn't yapping about Ukraine and instead thinks that he has anything to say about this. If Asmund Gold shut the fuck up and just directed his audience to donate to Heal Palestine, donate to UNRWA, I would have nothing to say about it. I would have nothing to say about it. And as a matter of fact, here, this is a great clip to, to kind of like, you know, segue into. There is a massive amount of right-wing radicalization that has been occurring, especially in younger male spaces. Everything is completely dominated by right-wing politics. If you're a dude under the age of 30 and you have any hobbies whatsoever, whether it's playing video games, whether it's working out, whether it's, I don't know, listening to like a history podcast or whatever, every single facet of that is just completely dominated by center-right to... I wouldn't say far right in the same way that it was back in like the 2016 era and the end of like Obama's uh, administration, but like definitely center right to Trumpian right, mm. like openly Trump right, not like genuinely neo-Nazi. That part is uh, quieted down a little bit, but like they're like 90% of the way there for the most part. And that's it. Everything that they see is right wing sentiment being expressed by individuals that they find charismatic thought leaders in the comments on this clip were insane let me guess uh had a houthi uh terrorist on his show uh, uh owns a house says he's a socialist uh says that uh you know nazis should die but also says he hates violence uh the uh, house anabi car uh, uh what it is muslim so supports muslim terrorism anti-semite uh, of the week what influencers that they uh, subscribe to and i think that that is some of the reason why you see this movement yeah yeah and there's a reason that this motherfucker leans into it because he gets approval from his chat he gets approval and he gets a bunch of two based flying through his chat whenever he's going off on tirades like this